Okay, this is a video about building decks. Why don't you work? Okay, there we go. So, this is. I'm gonna say some basic stuff and some stuff that's specific to this game after that. So, person asked me about making a video about making a deck on this, and I'm just gonna give you what I figured out. I try to keep it at a balance of 40 cards. 10 magic, 10 traps, well, I have a little more in this, but that's, yeah, can you deviate from, deviate from it if you feel like it, but I try to keep it around 10 magic and 10 traps, sometimes there are exceptions for like special decks and cards that work differently, but this is just stuff I've learned from playing all the games in actual life, so I, if for monsters, I try to keep it one for like one through four, level one through four, I just keep it around twelve. Five through six, I keep it around four, and seven, I keep it around four. But it all differs for different decks and junk. I mean, so for the five through six in this deck, I could put more, but I don't have a lot because of the way this deck works. So. That's just basic junk and for the traps. If you're starting off, I suggest like always putting cards you should, like most likely get in the beginning, like Waboku and I don't think I have it in here, but Magic Jammer. If you get Trap Jammer, that's also pretty good. But Negate Trap is never bad. And if you have this, it's always good as well. Like, just cards that just stop stuff. And now, for magic, it's, it's a little different. It depends on the deck you use. So, now let's get to things specific to this game. When you start off this game, they give you a couple decks, like a fire, wind, and water. Like, wind and water are the easiest decks to build off of. I really suggest building off of those two at the beginning. Because those are the easiest ways to go. I would, I don't, I wouldn't recommend fire because it's a little more iffy. Because there's not much cards for back then that support it. But water, there were tons and they're still making water support cards. So, like... Cards like Starboy and a Legendary Ocean. This card, okay, if you don't know, this card, it tr it's treaty as Yumi. So all the monsters that need Yumi to activate their effects, this card will boost it, and it decreases all water monsters in the hand. I end the field by one level, which lets, which allows me to summon level five on the first turn, and it boosts the attack and defense for all water monsters by 200. So like, I can get cards like this on the field really, really, and take advantage of effects like this card that lets you attack directly whenever you is on. And this card that lets you attack twice, and that's 1700 each. I could make this deck a little better, but for right now it's good. But if there isn't like much you could do back in this era, but you also could just make decks with like cards with high attack power and good effects that have nothing to do with each other. You can just you can still do just as good. Like if you have cards like the Tricky and Cyber Dragon, or I don't know if it was made yet, but Pitch Black Dark Warwolf, which stops traps in the battle phase. Those are really good cards. I recommend using, uh, not using like cards like this or or, the, or this like 
just try to find like ones with the best attack power and some with good effects. There's, there's not a lot of like awesome decks you can put together from this era, but oh, I just recommend the water or wind deck. Like, back when I first had this game, when it like years ago, I used to go. I used to use a machine deck that works kind of good. That was mostly because Cyber Dragon is a really good card, and it was not limited. So, oh, 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 another thing. This card, if you want to, it's it's a really great card. Just look at that effect. That's a great effect. So, yeah, these are my tips on deck building in this game. So, yeah. Water that shit up. You know what? I should explain the Harper deck. World's more win. I haven't edited this at all, but let me just take a look at it. Harpies are good as well. I don't know if I have any, but I'll just pause this right here. Okay, I'm back on this. So harpies are good, as I'm saying, because. These three cards take the place of Harpy Lady and they have effects that help other wind monsters like boost all by 300. And this one, that's pretty okay, but I usually just only use Harpy Lady one. And this one because you can like switch, if you can manage to switch on your opponent's monsters and defense and that can and just attack it while it's defense mode, take the damage, and they can't attack with that for the next two turns. And if you have an effect that lets you do that again, do it again, they can't attack with it again. So if they have a monster that's really powerful, you can just cripple it. And you have other cards like Harpy's Pet Dragon that gets points for every Harpy on the field. And Blade Fly is another card that. That will just boost the attack and defense by that much. So it's a really simple way to start off. Now, I'm not saying you have to do this. There are ways you can still go. There are other monsters. You can just use monsters with effect like effects like this and like boost them with equip spells, and you still be doing. You can still do good. Just like keep a lot of if you're gonna use anything that's just like your own way, I suggest just having a lot of high attack powers and destroy effects. Like manure bug and junk. That's just what that's just what I have to say now. That's all for now. I'm gonna be recording Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow, so I have a ton of shit to upload. So that's all for me right for right now. It's good night, 12 out.